Baseball is back, and there is tons of new talent to watch in 2023. In this video, we will get to know two of the top contenders for AL Rookie of the Year, and share some facts that you may not know about Gunnar Henderson and Logan Ohapi. Who is Gunnar Henderson? Well, he plays shortstop and third base for the Baltimore Orioles. He is 6 feet 2 inches and 210 pounds. He bats left and throws right. His MLB debut was in 2022, but he only played in 34 games, had 116 at-bats with 30 hits, 4 home runs, and a .259 batting average. Due to limited play in 2022, he is still eligible for the 2023 Rookie of the Year. But let's look at how he got here. Well, he was born on June 29, 2001 in Montgomery, Alabama, but grew up in Selma, Alabama, and attended John T. Morgan Academy for high school and played both basketball and baseball. As a senior in high school in 2019, he was named the Alabama Player of the Year after batting 559 with 17 doubles, 9 triples, 11 home runs, and 75 RBIs, all while stealing 32 bases. So, he can hit for average, for power, and has speed. I mean, what's not to like? As we mentioned earlier, he was also a standout on the high school basketball team. He averaged 17 points and 11 rebounds per game, earning him the Independent School Association Alabama Player of the Year in basketball as well. In his junior year, he did commit to play baseball at Auburn University, but due to his outstanding high school baseball stats, the Baltimore Orioles selected Henderson with the 43rd overall pick in the 2019 MLB Draft and offered Gunner a $2.3 million signing bonus. Henderson jumped at the chance and decided to go pro. He finished the 2019 season in the Orioles' rookie ball organization and ended with one home run, 11 RBIs, and a .259 batting average. 2020 season was canceled due to COVID, but in 2021 started in single A with Delmarva Shorebirds, but quickly promoted to the Aberdeen Ironbirds, then to double A Bowie Bay Sox by the end of the year. Now, Gunner's 2021 season ended with 105 games, 17 home runs, 74 RBIs, 16 stolen bases, and a .258 batting average. Gunner began 2022 in Bowie, and after the first 47 games, he had 8 home runs, 35 RBIs, and a .312 batting average. Then he was promoted to the AAA Norfolk Tides. On June 28, 2022, the day before his 21st birthday, he hit for cycle in an 8-2 win over the Gwinnett Stripers. Now, on an interesting personal note, at the beginning of the 2022 minor league season, he messaged his longtime girlfriend, Catherine Lee Bishop, that he had set a goal and promised that he would make it to the major leagues by the end of the season. On August 31st, Gunner called his girlfriend and parents and told them to get to the stadium because the Orioles had just called Henderson up to the show and he would be starting his first MLB game. Both his parents and girlfriend were able to make it to the game and cheer Gunner on. At the game, they were able to witness his second at bat, where he got his first Major League hit. But even better than that, it was a home run. What a way to start off your MLB career. Henderson was able to remain in the show and finish out the season with a solid performance, as previously mentioned, of 30 hits, 4 home runs, and a batting average of .259. Now, many think that Gunnar Henderson is a favorite to win the AL Rookie of the Year, but there is a long season ahead. And I think there's a few other players that might have something to say about that, like another top candidate, Logan Ohapi. Logan Ohapi is a catcher for the Los Angeles Angels. He did not play as many games at the end of the 2022 season that Henderson did, but he did get a little playing time and finished with 14 at-bats, 4 hits, and a batting average of .222. Obviously, those are not the stats that make Ohapi a top Rookie of the Year candidate, so Let's take a look at how he got here and some of his high school and minor league accomplishments. Logan Ohapi was born on February 9, 2000 in West Islip, New York and grew up on Long Island in Sayville, New York. From a very young age, baseball had always been a part of his life. Logan has fond memories, even before t-ball age, of him hitting off plastic tees and his dad always pitching to him after finishing mowing the grass. His mom said that she remembers him at age two consistently falling asleep in bed holding a bat. Logan is very close with his parents and even wrote an article about what his mother means to him that was published on Mother's Day. In the article, he wrote that she is the best mom a player could ask for. He said she knows the game but sits quietly in the corner with his dad during the games. Logan said his mother is obviously proud of him when he plays well, but if I carry myself the right way on the field and show respect to umpires, coaches, teammates, and opponents, 
That makes her the most proud. Now we know where his class on the field comes from. Logan also mentioned, a common line in the car is, should have pulled a suicide squeeze. Now I haven't heard a lot of moms and even know what a squeeze is, let alone having it as their favorite play. With that solid support at home, Logan excelled on the field from his first home run in T-ball all throughout Little League and into his high school at St. John the Baptist Diocene High School. In 2018, his senior year, Logan had a 467 batting average with three home runs and 22 RBIs in 21 games. He was named the Catholic High School Athletic Association Player of the Year after winning the Triple Crown and leading St. John to its first league championship since 2014. Ohapi committed to play baseball at his father's alma mater, Eastern Carolina University, but when the 2018 MLB draft came around, the Philadelphia Phillies used their 23rd round 677th overall pick to select Logan. So Ohapi decided to skip college at Eastern Carolina and signed a $215,000 contract to play professional ball with the Phillies. Logan finished the 2018 season in rookie ball with the GCL Phillies. His season stats ended with batting 367 with two home runs and 21 RBIs in 34 games. In 2019, Ohapi was promoted to the Class A Williamsport Crosscutters. He finished the season hitting 216 with six home runs and 26 RBIs in 45 games. Logan also played in that league's All-Star game that year. Due to COVID, no games were played in 2020, but in 2021, Ohapi promoted quickly through the minor league ranks. Logan started 2021 with the High A Jersey Shore Blue Claws, then moved to the Double A Reading Fighting Phils. He then quickly promoted to the Triple A Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Between the three teams, Ohapi finished the 2021 season batting 270 with 17 home runs and 58 RBIs in 104 games. In the 2022 season, Ohapi was playing well, and by mid-June, he was ranked number three in the entire Phillies farm system. Throughout 75 games, Ohapi was batting 275 with 15 home runs and 45 RBIs. On August 2, 2022, Ohapi was traded to the Los Angeles Angels in exchange for outfielder Brandon Marsh. The Phillies really needed a center fielder, and with veteran JT Romuto having a lock on the catcher's position, the trade seems like a win-win for both teams. The Angels assigned Ohapi to the AA Rocket City Trash Pandas. In his first seven games with the team, he had five home runs and 29 total games. Ohapi batted 306 with 11 home runs and 33 RBIs. That must have impressed the Phillies' management because on September 28, the Phillies called Ohapi up to the show. He made his Major League debut starting at catcher and recording his first Major League hit off of Oakland Athletics pitcher Adrian Martinez in his first career at bat. In his brief first season, Ohapi batted 286 with two RBIs in five games. So there you have a little history on two of the top candidates for AL Rookie of the Year. It sure will be exciting to watch and see who steps up and dominates. Let us know in the comments whether you think Gunnar Henderson or Logan Ohapi will be AL Rookie of the Year, or maybe someone else. Let us know. Also, now that baseball season is starting to heat up, make sure you subscribe and come back to MLB Gems for more awesome MLB lifestyle videos.